Definition. GDM is defined as impaired carbohydrate tolerance resulting in hyperglycemia, which first develops or is diagnosed during pregnancy. It is the most common medical complication and medical disorder and metabolic disorder of pregnancy. If you come to the pathophysiology, pregnancy is a diabetogenic state, which is characterized by hyperinsulinemia due to the hyperplasia of pancreatic islet cells and insulin resistance. There is an initial increase in insulin sensitivity. So, two things you have to do. Why do you do this? 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 Why do you uh, there is an initial increase in insulin sensitivity during the first trimester, but with the advancing gestation, there is progressive insulin resistance, which peaks at 26 to the 33rd week due to the following placental hormones, which include human placental lactogen, glucagon, progesterone, and corticotropin releasing hormone. Uh, now, this. <laughs> So, this is the first time. Estrogen is not the first time. Estrogen is the first time. So, what is the percentage of the release? Estrogen also has a role in uh, increasing uh, the insulin requirement in pregnancy. Okay, what is diabetogenic actually? What is estrogen? Uh, now, this is for patients who are diabetic. This is a preconception care for diabetic patients. They're supposed to lose weight if the BMI is more than 27. They're started on folic acid, 5 milligram OD. This is high dose. Normally, we give patients 400 microgram daily. If the HPA1C... So high dose, what do they do? Uh, so to prevent uh, the diseases, for example, neurotrophic defects and... Uh, or, or, or are they not uh, mitigated by 400 micrograms of folic acid? We'll give high dose in the highest patients. High dose folic acid is given in highest patients to. What do you mean by highest patients? Uh, for example, patients with pre existing diabetes, which are already. Hey, does diabetes uh, predispose to neural tube defects? So it predisposes to congenital malformations, which includes neural tube defects. Most. I folic acid. I will tell you about it. Today, medical representatives are very many fancy products. और वो कहते हैं जो ये फॉलिक एसिड जो 5 मिलीग्राम वाली गोली है अगर आप वैसे लें तो ये 60 या 65 पैसे की गोली 100 टैबलेट्स की एक तो वो बोतल जो है वो 60 70 रुपए की आती है <coughs> और ऑन द अदर हैंड दिस फैंसी ऐड फॉलिक भाई ऐसे मेरे नाम में जहर आ गया माय फॉलिक एटसेट्रा दे हैव जस्ट कॉल्ड वो टेट्रा फॉलिक और पता नहीं क्या कुछ आपको लाभ बताते हैं और उसमें <coughs> Folic acid is equal to 400 micrograms. And it is equal to 8, 10, 12 rupees. As a matter of fact, academically speaking, most of the bodies would recommend 5 milligram as a protection against because this is a water soluble vitamin B. And uh, excess is excreted out and doesn't accumulate. And uh, that's why if one takes in excess, it, it is not going to have any detrimental effects on the health. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is generally recommended that given in this, this dose and starting as you have said here in the preconception area, when, when the couple is planning pregnancy, uh, then three to four months before that, before you, they, they should start doing that. <clears throat> Therefore, folic acid in this dose is more effective than forward effective without any adverse or negative effects. <laughs> Jenny.
uh, HPA1C should be less than 6.5. If the target is not reached, you advise contraception. Does this mean that you would uh, assess a hemoglobin A1C in uh, women who are trying to have a pregnancy? Uh, and also just diabetic patients. Uh, this is for diabetic patients who have diabetic. existing. Achha, yes. All right. This is only preconception care for diabetic. diabetic. Those who have type 2 diabetes or type, type 1 diabetes. Or type 1. Okay. Uh, but sir, in these patients, we do HbA1c. If it's less than 6.5, we'll progress further. But if it's more than 6.5, we'll do HbA1c monthly till the target is reached. मुझे भी जरा मुश्किल थे मेरे बांध में रखा था बांध में लेकिन फास्टिंग बी एस एल लेवल शुड बी बिटवीन फाइव टू सेवन मिली मोर पर लीटर विच इज नाइनटी टू वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स मिलीग्राम पर डेसी लीटर इन पेशेंट विद प्री एग्जिस्टिंग में वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स की कौन सी किताब से दी है Fasting में 126 अच्छा ये आप फिर वो डायबिटिक पेशेंट के पास जाते सॉरी आई कीप फॉरगेटिंग दैट राइट आह हीप वन सी इज डन इट बुकिंग इफ द पेशेंट इज प्रेग्नेंट दिस इज आल्सो फॉर प्री एक्जिस्टिंग डायबिटिस सो नाउ दिस इज ऑल प्री कंसेप्शन केयर फॉर प्री एक्जिस्टिंग टाइप टू डायबिटिस नाउ दिस आह वो टेल अस द रिस फैक्टर्स फॉर जेस्टेशनल डायबिटिस � मैं डॉक्टर आ हूं लेकिन अब मैंने सोचा था मैं डॉक्टर नहीं आई लेट हर कंप्लीट हर कंट्रीशन एंड देन वी गो बैक सो द रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज इंक्लूड बीएमआई ऑफ ग्रेटर देन 30 प्रीवियस माइक्रोस्कोपिक माइक्रोसोमिक बेबी वेइंग 4.5 केजी और मोर प्रीवियस जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज एंड हियर द पेशेंट विद प्रीवियस जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज हैव ऑलमोस्ट 80% रिस्क ऑफ डेवलपिंग जीडीएम इन द नेक्स्ट प्रेगनेंसी एज़ वेल Family history of diabetes that is first degree relatives with diabetes and ethnicity, South Asian, which includes us as well. ये मैं कमेंट करूँगा सिर्फ आपको ये इसलिए South Asian because we don't have our guidelines. हमने नहीं बनाई हुई अगर बनाई भी हो तो हम इन्हीं से we'll borrow from the material which is there and which has already been assessed. Now this is from a country these the which. Have uh, uh, multiple ethnic uh, population uh, groups, and therefore they will uh, look at all uh, various uh, backgrounds and ethnicities. And it is found that in these, particularly which have been mentioned here, in most of the colored people and Middle uh, Eastern etc., the uh, that in itself is a risk factor. The incidence of diabetes is higher here. As a matter of fact, you uh, basically don't have a type in Pakistan. We probably twenty-seven percent. Twenty-seven percent of the population, of the population, which is uh, about two and a half times more than the natives in some of the developed countries. And, and these data from from ethnicity are usually from UK, other countries. UK, Malaysia, South Asia, to Central. Ah, this study South Asia, we study not only the gay data, which South Asia, or Caribbean, or Middle Eastern data, this comes from. इसलिए इट विल बी रेलिवेंट फॉर ऑल पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट कि आप जब साउथ एशियन की बात भी करें या ये लिखा हुआ होता है या ये है या आप जब कोट करेंगे कि जी अमेरिका में इसका इंसिडेंस इतना है अमेरिका में एट परसेंट है यूएसए में अगर आप वहां का पेपर पढ़ रहे हो तो यहाँ पे कितना है तो यहाँ पे जिस तरह से डॉक्टर बीना ने बताया अभी ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट है विच इज वेरी हाई एंड और कम्पेयर टू What is quoted for uh, the white population over there in uh, uh, UK or USA? So, us le haase, hume apna pata hona chahiye ki hamare haan iski prevalence kitni hai. Screening and diagnosis. All women with risk factors should be offered screening for GDM using the oral glucose tolerance test. Main baat main rokun ya sorry sir ne kaha tha rokna hai. All women, irrespective of risk factors, should be screened by with respect to. हर औरत को साउथ एशिया इज अ रिस्पेक्टेड 
तो तुम्हारी औरत कहां से उसका टेक्स्ट सो वुमेन विद हायर एक्स शुड नॉट बी ऑफर्ड स्क्रीनिंग एवरी वुमन इन पाकिस्तान शुड बी ऑफर्ड दिस इज व्हाट एक्चुअली वी डू राइट वी डू इट in between 24 28 weeks all those patients go with us mm -hmm. and i am surprised that many of the senior consultants don't do it they they don't do it so like sometimes a patient uh, comes at 30 weeks of pregnancy or 32 weeks of pregnancy because the original consultant is gone away or something and i am su surprised to see that uh, glucose tolerance test has not been carried out or sometimes even random blood sugar has not been uh, assessed because if random blood sugar were assessed and it was found to be higher then of course one would go for either glucose uh, blood sugar levels monitoring or uh, a glucose tolerance test so therefore all are advised and are uh, strongly advised to carry out uh, oral glucose tolerance test at 24 to 28 weeks of pregnancy that is the time when Uh, diabetic uh, diabetogenic uh, effect of pregnancy is uh, unraveling itself is more and therefore at that time uh, getting it done is uh, uh, scientifically uh, uh, rational and it should be uh, carried out in all women as uh, has been said right not only those who are who have other risk factors those who have risk factors they should have glucose tolerance test early on in the pregnancy even in the first trimester mm -hmm. immediately yeah. after the first trimester when they have the nausea stops ah. so jo ke bahut sari ladkiyan wo nausea mein nahi dekhte wo kar nahi sakte generally skin weak se karna and then they should get it repeated again and they go to it should be done but this is very important to understand that they don't need presentation ko theek kar do kyunki itna sara crowd aapka so jaa respect ka koi kaam respect the hai hame bas और अभी जिस चीज का हम जिक्र नहीं करते वो ये है कि हमारे यहाँ बहुत बड़ा क्लाइंटेल है हमारा हु आर नॉट ओवर जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज बट हु हैव इंपेयर डायबिटीज इंपेयर ग्लूकोज कॉन्डेंस पर एंड दे हैव द पोटेंशियल टू डेवलप डायबिटीज इन द नियर फ्यूचर सो वी कैन एक्चुअली फिट देम अप एट 26 वीक्स एंड वी कैन स्टार्ट कंट्रोलिंग देयर डाय तो मैं अपने उसमें जो 180 होता है उसमें ही ब्लड शुगर मैनेज करवाना शुरू करती हूं मेरे पास जो 140 150 का ग्लूकोज आता है जिनको So these are also things which you as young girls need to as young girls need to. Uh, a diagnosis of GDM is made if the fasting plasma glucose is 5.6 millimol per liter, which is 100 milligram per deciliter or more, or the two-hour level is 7.8 millimol, that is 140 milligram per deciliter. Women with GDM in previous pregnancy should be offered 25 gram OGTD at booking. Normally, it is repeated again at 24 to 28 weeks. ठीक है इसलिए अगेंस्ट में वन आर लेवल की बात करनी चाहिए बिकॉज मेडिकल कॉलेज तो वन आर पे रिलाई करता है तो हम तो अपने क्लिनिक में जो करें वन आर को ज्यादा फोकस करते हैं टू आवर को नहीं करते सो वन आर की वैल्यूज में आएगी ठीक है um over here you can see that uh, for now we're following 2015 nice criteria and uh, previously there was who criteria as well and here we can see the first um two step approach of gestational diabetes mellitus diagnosis in which 50 g of glucose is also given and one hour post prandial is checked and in the other days 100 g of glucose is given which is checked one hour two hour and three hours post prandial as well but we go for the uh, bsf one hour in two hour post prandial level with 75 g of glucose acha ye jo millimoles bhi aa raha hai aur milligrams bhi aa raha hai and uh, do you all know how to convert millimoles into milligrams kaise kis kis mein ko pata hai nahi pata kaise karte hai kaise ha id ha you multiply it with with 18 to wo aapko wo milligrams aa jate hain to you usko 18 se karoge isme maine do baat kahi jo routine mein hum karte hain that is the 75 gram oral glucose tolerance test aur 50 jo hai wo out ho koi bhi karta hai 
نه دی سی پی کو جب تو جو فیگر ہم والا تھا اس کو دی سی پی نہیں کہتے تھے وہ کوئی کہتے تھے جو فیگر ریکمینڈ کرتا ہے وہ یہ ریکمینڈ کرتا ہے کہ انپرپیئرڈ پیشنٹ آپ کو اوپنی میں آگے بیٹھ لیجیے آپ نے اس کا 75 گرام پی لیا اس نے 75 گرام پی لیا اس کے آپ دو گھنٹے کے بعد اس کا ٹیسٹ کرو if the level is more than 1 kg is there وہ پریکٹیکل والا کرتے ہیں لیکن ہم وہ کرتے ہیں but that is also a way of testing اور اگر اس میں وہ اسکرین ہو جائے تو پھر اس کو وہ پھر ہنڈریڈ گرام والا وہ کرتے ہیں پورا وہ لمبا ہوتا ہے دو تین طرح کے ہیں وہ میڈیسن ڈائبٹیز ایسوسی ایشن کچھ کہتی ہے جو ان کا ورلڈ کنسوشن میں وہ کچھ کہتا ہے Uh, now these are the effects of GDM on the mother and the offspring during the pregnancy with increased risk of preeclampsia along with the uh, increased risk of infections especially urinary tract infections and vaginal infections in the labor it is increased risk of induction vaginal infections can arm listen to can you be uh, yes ah what urinary tract infection vaginal infections and pulmonary yes pulmonary infections ye teen kisam ki infections ke zyada susceptibility hai uh in labor there is more induction of labor increased uh, percentages of cesarean sections increased operator deliveries and labor complications labor complications include shoulder dystocia lacerations there can be brachial plexus injuries and uh, pph in the postpartum and beyond there is increased risk of recurrent gdm and type 2 diabetes in the offspring there can be congenital malformations including the cns cardiac uh, there can be the baby can be macrosomic and increased fetal mass sirf ek baat kehni hai jo congenital malformations hain wo zyada hoti hai in non diabetics so just taking diabetes jab tak hoti hai fetal development or genogenesis ho chuki hoti hai proper control hemoglobin a1c should be carried out at that time to assess the glucose status glucose control the status and if the a1c is squared or more determination of pregnancy kal it was a patient hai mujhe woh bataya ke ji ye inka hemoglobin a1c raised hai to maine patient se pucha ke aise ko examine kar raha hai ke na وہ ہیموگلوبین سمجھی اس نے کہا 13 میں میں نے کہا 13 ہے اس کو یہ سے 13 ہے مطلب میں وہ سے ٹرمینیشن نکلنے لگا تھا تو نے کہا نہیں یہ شی اس طرح نہیں ہوگا ہیموگلوبین یہ مت کی ہمیں اگر ٹیک ہو جائے سو دیر فور یہ جس طرح سے کہا ہے کہ اگر ہیموگلوبین اتنی زیادہ ہو تو وہ اور فرسٹ ٹرمینیشن میں ہو تو دین اٹس ٹرمینیشن Uh, neonatal complications include prematurity, perinatal asphyxia, respiratory, <laughs> respiratory distress, metabolic complications, <laughs> metabolic complications such as hyperglycemia and hypocalcemia, polycythemia, low iron stores, hyperbilirubinemia and cardiomyopathy. And the long-term outcomes include childhood obesity, type 1 and 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. جب ہم پیشنٹ کی کاؤنسلنگ کر رہے ہوتے ہیں اور پیشنٹ جسٹیشن ڈائبٹیز میں اپنی بلڈ شوگر کنٹرول کرنے کو تیار نہیں ہوتا دس از وٹ ہیز ٹو بی ٹولڈ ٹو دی پیشنٹ دیٹ دیز ا رسک اف ٹائپ 1 ٹائپ 2 ڈائبٹیز اینڈ میٹابولک سنڈروم اینڈ اوبیسٹی ٹو دی بیبی بیکاز یہ کیا ہے یہ نان کمیونیکیبل ڈیزیز ہے ہم ایس ڈی جی میں کیا اچیو کرنے جا رہے ہیں ہیلپ فار آل تو اپ نے اپنی غیر ذمہ داری سے ایک ماں نے اپنے بچے کو وہ این سی ڈی دے دی ہے 
ये समझाने वाली उनको बात है जो उनको समझ नहीं आती क्योंकि इस वक्त ये सारी वो कहते हैं कि जो फ्यूचर प्रोग्रामिंग है ना वो ही चेंज हो जाती है जो कौन सी वो एपीजेनेसिस की थ्योरीज है वो सारी यहां अप्लाई होती है एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली अ सिग्निफिकेंट फैक्टर इन दिस फेसिंग डायबिटीज दैट इज व्हाई इट इज द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ ऑल ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेशन टू मेक श्योर दैट द पेशेंट फैक्ट जिसको बोलते हैं फीटल ओरिजिन ऑफ एडल्ट डिसीज तो ये फीटल ओरिजिन ऑफ एडल्ट डिसीज सारा यहां से शुरू हो रहा है और ये यहां कैसे आता है बिकॉज़ द मदर इज सो मदर ओबीज है पेटर्नल हिस्ट्री ऑफ डायबिटीज फिर वो ओवर ईट करती है प्रेगनेंसी में फिर वो जेस्टेशन डायबिटिक बन जाती है और फिर उसका बच्चा जो है वो ओबीज टाइप 1 टाइप 2 डायबिटीज और मेटाबॉलिक सिंड्रोम के लिए वो भी पॉइंट है उनको होगा और मैंने वैसे कहीं पढ़ा था मैं पेशेंट्स को कहता हूं कि जो पैसा नहीं होता कि इसमें 5 इयर्स लाइफ कम होती है उन बच्चों की जिनकी मदर जेस्टेशनल डायबिटिक थी एज कंपेयर टू द नॉर्मल तो वो तो होगी क्योंकि इतनी सारी इसको बीमारी तो तो हैरानी की बात है now if we come to the management uh first we look at the fasting plasma glucose levels and diagnosis if it is less than 7 along with no complications the first time management is one to two week trial of diet and exercise then or we'll also uh, advise the patient to do the blood glucose monitoring which is fasting and one hour post meal daily which is basically four level uh, glucose monitoring if the base if the sugar levels do not improve in 1 to 2 weeks we can add oral hypoglycemic and then patient is again on trial for the next 1 to 2 weeks again if the blood sugar levels are not controlled that is when we add insulin so i here i have to say something two three baatein the pehli baat to iske andar sabse important ye hai that what you are saying is diet control and exercise काफी लोग उस पे कंट्रोल हो जाएंगे लेकिन जैसे मेरे पेशेंट्स होते हैं जिनकी बहुत हाई ब्लड शुगर है या उनका बेबी की ग्रोथ कम हो रही है मैं उनको मेटफॉर्मिन की बजाय सीधा इंसुलिन पे भी डाल देती हूं सो यू हैव टू से दैट वी आर गोइंग टू द ट्रेडिशनल टीचिंग इज दिस बट वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अप आवर डिसीजन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी द पेशेंट्स चॉइस एंड द रिस्पोंसिवनेस ऑफ द पेशेंट सो और एंड द कंडीशन ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी तो अगर फर्ज करो मेरा बच्चा पहले ही किसी वजह से स्मॉल पर डेट जा रहा है या आईवी जा रहा है मैं उसको मेटफॉर्मिन नहीं शुरू करती तो जो मेटफॉर्मिन मदर के वेट गेन को तो रिस्ट्रिक्ट करती है थोड़ा सा बेबी को भी रिस्ट्रिक्ट करती है तो आई वुड रादर पुट देम ऑन इंसुलिन और जब से लेविमर हमने यूज करना शुरू किया विद इन द लॉन्ग एक्टिंग इंसुलिन जिंदगी भर ये आसान हो गई तीसरी बात ये है कि जब जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज होता है बुक की टीचिंग में फास्टिंग करो मैं जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज में अनलेस उसका जीटीपी में फास्टिंग ज्यादा नहीं आया मैं नॉर्मली फास्टिंग नहीं चेक करवा The reason is कि fasting तो ठीक ही होता है gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes में जब load पड़ता है तो sugar बढ़ती है. Normally नहीं बढ़ती. तो in most of the patients with gestational diabetes, if you check a couple of days fasting is normal, then you don't have to keep on doing four levels. Mm-hmm. Three would be enough. But इसको कहने का तरीका ऐसा होना चाहिए कि examiner को ये ना लगे कि तुम्हें किताब. ये ये I I'd like to add here a couple of uh, Uh, questions also which you need to look up as a book but uh, first uh, as uh, mina has said that uh, metformin has certain uh, adverse effect yeah, on the baby's weight also so that is my first uh, comment uh, which i would want all to look up in the book that what are the drawbacks of metformin what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages one similarly what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, insulin like the regular insulin that is uh, used and third what are the advantages and <coughs> disadvantages of long acting insulin <coughs> she mentioned levimer which is now there and similarly <coughs> the uh, uh, when in the examination you would say that uh, this is recommended that you do fasting and then postprandial levels three times a day and uh, you monitor that for some time and then if the levels are okay then uh, uh, you you revert back to lesser number of uh, assessments but uh, 
what uh, Dr. Veena has uh, mentioned, that's also important in practical terms. In practical terms, you can, because pricking yourself four times a day is a lot of, uh, you know, hassle. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, generally in our practice, both of us practice more or less the same way. We do not recommend uh, fasting level. That's only for the examination. For practical purposes, uh, we recommend that it should be done one hour post perennial because that is the logical approach that we want to see what is the uh, level after that glucose or carbohydrate or diet uh, uh, load. Another important thing is <clears throat> that you must also discuss with the uh, these women about their dietary plans, dietary habits. How do they, uh, what are the timings of their diet? Are they taking a breakfast? Are they taking a mid-morning snack or lunch and, uh, and dinner? Or, or if someone is getting up or waking up at 12 o'clock or 1 p.m. and their uh, total uh, uh, food intake is topsy-turvy mm -hmm. because they'll uh, then uh, run late into night and uh, sleep maybe at 3 o'clock, uh, 3 a.m., and that, that is not right. And therefore, right in the beginning, asking them uh, to regulate their sleep pattern, their dietary pattern, that's also important. It is not enough only to advise that you cut down your carbohydrates, you bring it down to 40% or so, or, or you have uh, complex carbohydrates and do exercise and that, and they'll come back and like, oh, Sardar ka Latifa jaise ke mein to diet pahi ki hai, lekan kuch nima. Mere paas ek patient aaj kal aari hai, she is gaining about 8 to 9 pounds every day. And she is not diabetic fortunate. But I have told her that this is too much, it's too diabetic. So, the doctor said, I don't have anything to eat, but I don't have anything to eat. So, 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 I don't have anything to eat. It takes a lot of time, but it, it gives you a window of what they are doing. उसने नाश्ता शुरू किया दस बजे नाश्ता तक तो पहला तो दस बजे पे मेरे तो काम खड़े हो गए मैंने कहा तो दस बजे नाश्ता एक पराठा था फिर मैं पूरे दिन भूखी रहती फिर मैं रात को जो पता नहीं कौन था फिर फिर वो पास्ता या बर्गर but the point is that that paratha is not good for her, which is going to... I don't know if you have any idea. I don't know if you have any idea. Cold drinks, they are not pensioned. They are not food. So they are not food. The point is I'm trying to take is that Pakistani women are taking a lot of care. So I'm going to tell you something that I'm going to tell you. When you are going to say that 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 you are going to say that. पहली बात आपके गवर्नमेंट अस्पतालों में अभी भी probably services was the only hospital जहाँ हमने locally hospital से जो दवाइयाँ मिलाते थे उसमें हम level पर भी मिलते थे तो ज़्यादातर hospital जो हैं उनकी blood sugar controls are very poor so what they are doing they give regular insulin तो जो ही आप कहेंगे वो कहेंगे ये तो बड़ी महंगी होती है क्योंकि आप गवर्नमेंट hospital से compete कर रहे हैं so you must know the price of level पर ultra short acting regular insulin and of metformin. So, we have to know the price of the price. And when we knew this, we had to know that the price of the price is not very significant. So, if the patient is taking three doses and one dose is going to be taken, and one drink is going to be taken, then the level is actually a lot of it. The people might say, that the blood sugar is different times of day, so the level is going to be taken from 24 hours, so how do you control the level of the dose? The way of doing it is that you bring the patient to a type of diet, जिसके अंदर उसके नील्स पे भी बैलेंस हो, फिर लेवी मर उसके लिए ठीक है। और अगर फिर भी कहीं स्पाइक आ रही हो, तो यू कैन ऐड अल्ट्रा शॉर्ट एक्टिंग इंसुलिन टू इट। लेकिन इस पर जस्टिफाई करने के लिए एविडेंस, सिर्फ रुबीना डॉक्टरों का कहना था कि नहीं, यू नीड एविडेंस एंड यू नीड it is insulin ki spike ka. So if you are controlling the blood sugar in a manner in which the day level of sugar is spiking, you regular make up the art of it, you are cut and you're ready to see what you can do. The patient art can take a bite of it, or the dust can take a bite of it, then it will spike. Then it will fall, then it will spike. So regular insulin produces a lot of wavy pattern for blood sugar, which is dangerous not only for the mother, but for the baby. Still birth rates are more in women in which there is spiky blood sugar. And it is less in women when it is a stable pattern. Mm -hmm. So, your long acting insulin is generally at the diet is properly like it. So, but a stable pattern creates it. But other patients may have to be breakfast normally come out there. Oh, God, the blood sugar fall today. So, my breakfast is a little heavier. So, I didn't know what it's you balance it. 
तो ये बातें आपको पता होनी चाहिए एंड दे कैन कम ओनली विद एक्सपीरियंस सो आई वुड एडवाइज यू दैट अगर आवर पेशेंट्स कम टू यू तो जो डायबिटिक्स होते हैं उनकी थोड़ी सी वो वाली स्टिलेटर्स को फॉलो किया करें तुम क्या खा रही थी कितनी वॉक कर रही थी इंसुलिन कैसे लग रही थी तो उसमें आपकी एक्सपीरियंस बिल्डिंग होगी एंड व्हेन यू गोइंग टू द एग्जाम यू विल बी द ऑल नॉलेजेबल पर्सन क्योंकि एग्जाम में ना एग्जामिनर कॉन्फिडेंट होता है डायबिटीज पे और ना स्टूडेंट इसलिए जो जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज का केस है उसमें पेडिया नहीं था और हालांकि जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज इज कोई फेल नहीं होना चाहिए और सारे कहते हैं मल्टीडिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच भेज दो उसके पास ठीक है तुमने कहना हो कह देना बट You should know as an obstetrician how to control the pressure. It is very unfair that you come and you expect to get it. And this, this, in this, you ask patients to ask them. They have a glucose monitoring chart. You have to see them. We have all the things. Diet chart. So you can see. In this, when when you are talking about insulin, the fact must be realized that if she has to break three or four times a day to assess her. Blood sugar. She has to give uh, regular insulin or uh, to herself three times a day. How many breaks? Does it is it practical? So patient compliance is also important. When Levimer, you uh, when you, you give Levimer and uh, that doesn't cause hypoglycemia. Uh, and the way regular insulin is likely to give Levimer is ah. because it it is uh, long acting insulin. Its effect is spread out over a longer period of time, and therefore chances of hypoglycemia is less. You see, it is safe to give it even. Uh, uh, generally, it is given uh, late in, uh, in the evening or at night, and uh, uh, because we are also concerned about the uh, glucose levels at three a.m. or between three and five a.m., so uh, it's important to be given at that time. And much of its cost is offset by the convenience that it provides, that single administration and a better control and less spikes. So uh, and uh, uh, yes, that to that, but it's uh, up to your uh, own doctor. And, and yeah, that 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 just shows that it, it, yeah, it it is uh, it it is uh, more uh, patient friendly, and uh, the patient would be compliant. More uh, chances of being. Uh, so, in our practice, we ten percent of our patients go to the endocrine specialist. Ninety percent of blood sugar meter or sir, we put control. So, it is done. There is no problem. लेकिन वो टाइम देना पड़ता है वो टाइम आप काइंड ऑफ नॉन दिस भी नहीं देगा डायबिटिक पेशेंट्स को इट्स मोर टाइम एंड देयर इज अ सजेशन फॉर अस एज वेल जो फिजिशियंस होते हैं वो अपने साथ रखते हैं अह वो उनको कहते हैं एजुकेटर्स रखते हैं अपने साथ सो इफ अ डायबिटिक पेशेंट और दे आर डूइंग अ डायबिटिक क्लिनिक दे विल बी अ हेल्थ एजुकेटर तो हेल्थ एजुकेटर उनको इंसुलिन लिखाना सिखाएगा उनको साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ ड्रग्स खाना पीना वो वो सारा हेल्थ एजुकेटर बताता है हम क्या करते हैं हम सारा कुछ करते हैं तो हेल्थ एजुकेटर का रोल और अगर आप जाके हेल्थ एजुकेटर का लाइफ बोलोगे दैट वुड बी हेल्पफुल अच्छा लगा लोगों के लिए नया होगा वो आपको भी नहीं पता आह इफ द फास्टिंग क्लास में ग्लूकोस लेवल्स है बिटवीन सिक्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन अलोंग विद द कॉम्प्लिकेशन सच इस पॉलीहाइड्रेनियस एंड माइक्रोसोमिया देन द And if the levels are more than or equal to seven, then the patient is given insulin and metformin along with diet and exercise. And seven, what is it? Ah, seven into eighteen is seven. Seven, what is it? Seven, what is it? Eighteen into seven. Other fasting, fasting, fasting. Other things, fasting. One twenty-six. One twenty-six. Ah, twenty-six. Uh, now these are the targets for daily capillary plasma glucose. Fasting should be less than five point three. Fasting should be less than five point three millimoles. One hour after meal should be less than seven point eight, and two hour after meal should be less than six point four. Now if we come to diet and exercise, women with GDM should choose diets containing low glycemic index carbohydrates and low fat proteins. They also advise moderate exercise for 30 minutes a day. Now we'll discuss the low glycemic foods. The low glycemic foods. Exercise for about 30 minutes, 25 minutes. And the other thing I have started, I have seen that when pregnant women, they will continue for 45 minutes. 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 That has made a lot of difference to them. 
Uh, low glycemic foods include proteins, that is fish, meat, vegetables, seeds and seed butters, along with beans, cheese, vegetables, and oils. Uh, here we can see the time duration of the meals that the patient is taking. How many of you have had cheese during the last one day? इसको थोड़ा सा प्रैक्टिकल भी कर सकते क्योंकि ये बाहर से है ना मेरा मतलब वो था कि जो हमारी पेशेंट पॉपुलेशन एंड आप लोगों को जो एक एडवांटेज है जैसे एडवांटेज भी है डिसएडवांटेज भी है कि आप इस प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल में काम कर रहे हो तो यहाँ पे तो पेशेंट्स भी लेते होंगे लेकिन बाहर जो है उनके लिए वो प्रैक्टिकल नहीं होगा और जब आप इम्तिहान में जाओगे इम्तिहान में अगर आप चीज और ये वाली सारी इस तरह की डायग्राम बना के दिखाओगे तो वो तो सार्डीन आपने बताई हुई है चीज है फ्ला है ये है तो वो वो जो प्रॉब्लम है वो कहेंगे कि आप यू आर आउट ऑफ टच विद वो तो है नहीं सो इस लिहाज से इसको थोड़ा कन्वर्ट करना इसको आप अपने तौर पे करना बट वॉट यू मीन इज एक्चुअली ये जो होता है ना इतने ग्राम्स और इतने आउंस और इतना करना दैट्स नॉट प्रैक्टिकल फॉर आर वेमेन वी हाँ जो है वो उनको प्रैक्टिकल टर्म्स में बताने के लिए आप दो हाउस का आप वो ले सकते हो आटा ले सकते हो और इतना इतने कप आपने फ्लां चीज लेनी है इतने कप है वो ट्रांसलेट नहीं होती हमारी डाइट में नहीं ट्रांसलेट सो देर फॉर वो ट्रांसलेट करने की जरूरत हो उटमेंड <laughs> और जिसकी फास्टिंग नॉर्मल है शुक्र करते हैं मेटफॉर्मिन बंद की क्योंकि उनकी तबियत इतनी खराब हो गई है Uh, here we have the different types of insulin that is rapid acting regular intermediate long and ultra long acting in gdm we usually use a uh, regular or short acting uh, along with long acting that is levomed fetal monitoring the aim of fetal monitoring is to detect the two extremes of fetal monitoring ek baat maine tumhe keh di hai ki jo hum baat kar rahe hain wo baat hum kar rahe hain ultra short ki ये जो आपकी जो मिडिल जैसे आते हैं उसकी बात कर रहे थे वो लोग भी सकते हैं और साथ में लॉन्ग एक्टिंग ये रेगुलर में एसेंशियली रेगुलर और लॉन्ग एक्टिंग की बात है क्योंकि ये वाली जो है ग्लार्जिन वाला ये लेवेमर वाला ग्रुप जो है उसमें लॉन्ग एक्टिंग और दूसरी जो हम यूज करते हैं जो भी गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल में और कुछ सजेशन भी देते हैं वो आपके लिए 73 एसेंशियल है तो इनकी जब टाइप देते हो तो 73 और तीसरी बात ये है कि ये दो मेन ग्रुप है Uh, women with type 1 diabetes involving end organ damage are at increased risk of preeclampsia and fetal growth restriction fetal macrosomia is associated with increased rates of cesarean section and birth injury including shoulder dystocia fractures and brachial plexus injury uh, and i recommend ultrasound for the growth liker and umbilical artery doppler at four <coughs> weekly intervals between 28 to 36 weeks so again 
ये जो कोई भी चीज जो बताया कि उनसे अप्लाई करना चाहिए जो कि या नॉन डायबिटिक्स हो या जिनका डिसेक्टी डायबिटिक्स है विद इनएडिक्वेट कंट्रोल ऑफ ब्लड शुगर इफ इट इज अ वेल कंट्रोल ब्लड शुगर देन यू डोंट नीड टू डू वन मंथ की अल्ट्रासाउंड मतलब कि इससे फ्रीक्वेंट अल्ट्रासाउंड की जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन अगर ब्लड शुगर कंट्रोल नहीं है या पेशेंट नॉन डायबिटिक है तो बिकॉज़ देन यू आर एडिंग द कॉस्ट ऑफ दैट Uh, time of delivery. Women with pre-existing diabetes without complications should be offered an elective birth between 37 and 38 plus six weeks gestation. And women with uncomplicated GDM should be offered elective birth no later than 40 plus six weeks. Uh, so these two are put into nice guidelines. So there were too many guidelines which are exactly. different times. So this so, is from nice. Sorry, I have to tell you. Other gestational diabetes, I mean, other gestational diabetes, other gestational diabetes. तो वो अपने टाइम पे डिलीवर होगी लाइफ टाइम नॉन डायबिटिक होगा ठीक है सिंपल तो वो ये लाइफ पे ये कह रहा है किसको भी कहना अगर जेस्टेशन डायबिटीज है इट इज वेल कंट्रोल्ड इफ इट इज वेल कंट्रोल्ड जेस्टेशन डायबिटीज देन शी कैन गो टेक अ नॉर्मल टाइम इफ अब तुम देखो कोई उसका नॉर्मल टाइम तक वेट नहीं करता सारे 37 वीक्स पे यूज करा देते हैं जो तुम गलत कर रहे हो 7 वीक्स इज अ लिटिल यू आर यू नो दैट ऑल द पीपल हु आर रिड्यूसिंग जेस्टेशन डायबिटीज एट 37 वीक्स आर डूइंग रॉन्ग क्योंकि इवन पोरली कंट्रोल में भी 37 तक कोई इंडिकेशन नहीं आता जाओ जाओ चलो जाओ ठीक है तो पास्ता because you uh, at 37 weeks you run the risk of uh, getting a, a baby whose uh, uh, the respiratory system may not be properly uh, adequately mature because one of the complications that the, these neonates go, uh, go through is neonatal hypoxia mm -hmm. and uh, therefore it is important that uh, our respiratory system should be well uh, mature mm -hmm. and 37 is actually out. i wouldn't really go for 37 so if the patient's uh, diabetes is well controlled mm -hmm. and uh, it is gestational diabetes then she can go up to term term then she can go up to 40 weeks because going up to 37 completed weeks is also term mm -hmm. that that's the rationale of their uh, uh, inducing at 37 weeks because that is term but these babies they perform poorly in the neonatal period so therefore uh, optimal time would be 38 39 39 39 weeks would be a little better mm -hmm. on the other hand going to 40 plus 6 for our patient population south asian women population that's a little risky uh, that will uh, add probably to the stillbirth rate because there have been recently uh, uh, some reports Uh, um, and a paper, particularly one which has been published at two places, that shows that South Asian women, those who were born in South Asia, those women even if then they are delivering in UK or they are delivering in Australia, because mm -hmm. that study started in Australia, and they found that in them the stillbirth rate was about one and a half times higher than the average Australian population in that area, and compared to other ethnicities as well. so therefore that's why even at 40 weeks you see when we induce quite a few of uh, the girls they have meconium uh, midway during the labor and we have to go for cesarean section and that is one of the reasons that even uh, those who do not have any complicating factors that their pregnancies are straight forward we tend to induce them we don't let them go much beyond not in 41 weeks but at 40 weeks 3 days 40 weeks 4 days that is the reason because i personally am afraid of that and i wouldn't want to have a stillbirth that's a great tragedy right so therefore a uh, 40 plus 6 this is this may be okay for uk population but not for south asian women uh, women with gdm have increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes hence a fasting plasma glucose level is done 6 to 15 weeks post partum period baad mein bhi kar sakte hain good but there are ha uh, kya bhai ah there are point a uh, lot of questions which would come to mind mai thoda sa ek jo screening ke bare mein i'll uh, take you through a few of the slides mai screen share kar sakta hu ji sir aap thoda sa insulin ke bare mein bataiye ke iske bare mein insulin ka sir regular ke bare mein bataiye ek minute mai aata hu ये मैं स्क्रीन शेयर कर ले मैं देख लूंगा एक मिनट आप देख लेते हैं कि काम कर रहा है
I'll go through my slides uh, in quick succession because most of the things have already been said that it is the most common medical complication. And <coughs> this is essentially a United States perspective because we are more tuned towards UK perspective through our CUD guidelines, etc. So I thought, so it is uh, one in 10 brain and women, 10% incidence over there, but here in Pakistan, the incidence would be uh, high. And it is important that nearly 90% are GDM. They are not type 2 or type 1, but occasionally you would come across type 1, type 2 uh, women. Uh, Non-white, overweight, low-income women and those who have uh, come late in their uh, years with a pregnancy and who are obese and have a sedentary lifestyle. The risks are, uh, if there is a uh, uh, Greater degree of hyperglycemia, that is a greater risk. And But if treatment brings it down with lifestyles or even with pharmacotherapy, then the risks are reduced. Maternal hyperglycemia causes fetal hyperinsulinemia, excessive fetal growth, macrosomia, birth trauma, neonatal hypoglycemia, delayed lung development, and that's why neonatal hypoxia and all that. Uh, for the mother, shoulder dystocia, cesarean preeclampsia, and of course, uh, uh, Bashal has said all the complications. And then uh, hyperglycemia, and uh, there are so many bodies who have worked about on diabetes and diabetes in pregnancy, and this is a group which is hyperglycemia and adverse pregnancy outcome study. That showed that 75 gram to our OGTT is associated with uh, it, it should be carried out in women with large for gestational age infant at birth who have history of that or who had history of cesarean delivery or rising fetal C peptide levels or neonatal adiposity. And diagnosis this is diagnosed usually first time in pregnancy. Unmasking most of these women will have normal fasting glucose levels. That's also important. That's why the importance of glucose tolerance test. And then, if you look at the risk factors, family history, history of macrosomia, etc. But if you do not do glucose tolerance test, more than half of women will be missed because they are unmasked only at abnormal glucose uh, tolerance test and they don't have a, a risk factor. That's why the importance of uh, OGTT at 24 to 28 weeks. Now, this is ACOG, American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists' recommendation of universal screening for all pregnant women and performed in 24 to 48, uh, 28 weeks. And this is one step and two step. One step is the one that we are doing, and I want you to uh, continue sticking with this. Two step is which the Americans recommend. So if there is an American inclination, that is a two step thing, and that involves First step to go again, the 75 glucose or two hours. Voila. And two step, they do an initial 50 gram glucose challenge test. And if the plasma value is 130 to 140 milligram, then uh, they, they would uh, ask for a second step. So two step is first step 50 gram, second step is 100 uh, grams oral GTT. And I would want to finish this confusion right on this slide that we will abide by this one-step test. Although there are reasons, because they say that uh, uh, this one-step test has, uh, it uh, includes more women into that group of GDM than actually there are. And mm -hmm. half of them do not have all those complications which are associated with the raised blood glucose level. So that's a, 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 a drawback of one-step test. Whereas two-step test, in their opinion, is uh, uh, a routine by which you identify only those women who are genuinely affected by that. But since this is a simpler one and uh, we follow the guidelines which uh, recommend this, that's why we will follow this. So, so far as these two types are, of assessment are concerned, you should know that there is a one step and there is a two step uh, kind of thing. But we follow that one step thing. Uh, and uh, we again will remain close to this, not get into this confusion. 
this is what I said about uh, this did not result in decrease in adverse neonatal outcome, including macrosomia, when uh, 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 those criteria were met in this. Yeah. Actually, as a matter of fact, uh, the, the explanation for that. So screening, uh, we have seen all these uh, too many times, but diagnosis in early pregnancy, hemoglobin A1C, if there are any reasons to expect that, and a value of greater than 6.5% is consistent with type 2. First line treatment, nutritional counseling, dietary change, daily exercise. The goal is to decrease postprandial hyperglycemia. So you ask them to modify their diet and daily exercise and see that effect on that without any medication, limiting carbohydrates and increasing car complex carbohydrates. <laughs> simple complex carbohydrate or 30 minutes moderate intensity aerobic exercise at least five days uh, a week which is 150 day, uh, minutes uh, uh, a week well you don't have to send the patient to a park by the watch, not necessarily 30 minutes at a stretch. Up under minute, both about them. Up other say either Chalashu Guru, Harmi, a community educated with Chalashu Guru, by the watch of Pandra minute. So make it practical for the woman so that she can carry out that exercise. Ye hai lifestyle recommendation meals, three meals and three snacks. Wo, meals ki regularity ke mein, hum already bath that you can emphasize Karna's Rudi. Composition उस तरह से कैसी होगी और exercise कैसी होगी वो उस तरह की बात है और first line में यही सारी चीजें आती हैं जो के वो कर दी गई हैं और वो target glycemic threshold भी बता दिया है कि हमने daily self monitor blood sugar fasting level three शुरू में वो कर लोगे try वो ये आपने बता दिए हैं मैंने सिर्फ milligram में बताया आपने milligrams में बता दिया है or uske baad, uh, hai ke after achieving good glycemic control, the frequency of testing can be decreased. And if these targets cannot be met, the majority of fasting or postprint levels are elevated, then pharmacotherapy phir ab hai So essentially, ye, main tak isko tha in uh, different uh, uh, mode. Postprandial levels after one or two levels, uh, two hours, one hour ke baad, actually it should be less than 140. Hum, ke less than 140 or two hours ke baad, 120 se kam hona This is but if she has to monitor her blood glucose only one hour after meals, then 140 wala level. Then try to make it simple for yourself and simpler for your patients. So glucose tolerance test sponsor. One step. Yeah. Uh, one step to uh, 75 gram was right? And that is fasting. 75 gram was lowered. One hour after that, one hour after that. And if the values are more than that, then And it is worthwhile to take that time to emphasize the importance of diet control diet, uh, not only controlling carbohydrates and sweets. And many women will be in the misconception that as if they can continue taking food, fructose is there and food khaliye, food khaliya. Now I say, come on, you food khalo. So you have to specifically say, you have food, bhi, it's me, mitha, food, bhi, it's me, aata. Holding specifically, etc. So you have to end on liberally healing to God. Who is the seminar? Tell me, if you have a question, you have a question. Insulin, you have a question. Insulin, you have a question. Insulin, you have a question. 
इंसुलिन में आमतौर पे हम शुरू करवाते हैं मैं तो लॉन्ग एक्टिंग ही देता हूँ मेटफॉर्मिन के साथ अगर जरूरत हो तो लॉन्ग एक्टिंग लेवेमर विच इज सिंपल वी स्टार्ट विद इफ द लेवल आर नॉट वेरी हाई वी स्टार्ट विद सिक्स यूनिट्स एट बेड नाइट इन द इवनिंग अबाउट एट ओ क्लॉक एट इन द इवनिंग and then uh, the patient is told if uh, the blood levels are not controlled then add by uh, increase by 2 units or wo karte jao till they achieve those levels but at the same time I emphasize to them that if you are taking insulin it does not mean <clears throat> that that you would uh, start having uh, sugar then you would start having uh, but crazy uh, etc so therefore it's important that they continue to uh, 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 uh exercise the same kind of uh, precautions as they were doing before that but uh, it will give a better control and if needed by uh, uh, then uh, regular insulin can be started nova rapid for example which is uh, rapid acting actually that can be started three times a day that is added to levemer long acting insulin and then the units again can be adjusted according to the uh, diet Uh, according to the uh, sugar levels and if the sugar levels are higher then of course you continue to uh, uh, increase the dosage on uh, you g ha do do unit karke kar lo but again every time you continue to emphasize the importance of control of diet yes